Now, all the TCs have the grid. I'll put it out anyway. Victor Charlie, 98011 AMP vehicle got hit with an IED. It looks like we got a couple KA right now. Also, be advised, they sent three other AMP vehicles to help them move down Route Dallas. Those three vehicles were ambushed along the way, small arms fire RPGs. They're okay. I'm not sure if they made it to the site or not. This is Jim Dow of the New York Times reporting from Logar Province in Afghanistan. What else you need? I'll be calling that up if necessary. Let's hit it. Primary map vehicle. During the past week, I embedded with a special counter IED team under Lieutenant James Brown at Forward Operating Base Altamar. This team has been deployed to tackle a growing threat. Combat deaths from IEDs, or improvised explosive devices, are projected to set a record in 2009. Already they have killed at least 46 American troops this year. I was with Lieutenant Brown's team when an emergency call came in. An aggressive Afghanistan police commander and close ally of the Americans had been killed. Not sure what the IED was at this time. Um, it uh, hit the truck, killed all five of the AMP officers inside, uh, including uh, including Golam. He was uh, one of those few good guys I was telling you about. We've done a lot of missions with him. He's a rare commodity in this country. More than 15 counter IED teams are deployed around Afghanistan to dismantle unexploded bombs and to collect evidence from bomb sites. They are compiling a forensic database in hopes of identifying the Taliban cells that are building and planting the explosives. We started to see evolutions that we've seen in other places last year, but now it's evolving much more rapidly. Where you look down in Kandahar, what may have taken three years is now occurring here in three months. Where you, you, know, you see the increased numbers, increased sizes, different types, and then now we're seeing multiple initiation systems. What I've got my crew doing right now, the EOD team leader is down there. We do, as you can see, just one guy, one man risk. He goes down, confirms that the site is clear, checks for secondaries, uh, usually out to about 25 meters, but it can be more than that based on terrain. Uh, once he's completed that, then we'll go in and start doing a post-blast um, where we'll take soil samples. That way, if there's nothing left, we'll be able to figure out what type of explosive was used, and uh, we'll try to determine the type of device. Lieutenant Brown's team continues its work but they worry the IEDs are becoming more sophisticated and deadly. We need the information from the IEDs to paint the picture, get the bad guys if we had that picture painted. 